This is the whole idea when you're fasting is not to release insulin. So if insulin is in your blood, you're not burning fat, you're storing fat. When I put the coconut oil, it makes me feel very satisfied because it's caloric, it's very good, thermogenic, blah blah blah. But it doesn't release insulin. You're still gonna have your glucagon working, your hormone that burns fat. During the time you're fasting, you can only have water, tea, and coffee but no sugar how many times a week do i have to do this do as many as you want it's very important in life to have balance with everything right so right now during the week i keep very restrict my intermittent fasting and during the weekend i eat okay because of course you, you don't want to be too crazy about something otherwise it's not gonna work and you don't have to do five times a week you can do one day a week you can do twice a week parentheses again you will feel hungry okay be aware of that your body is not used to burn fat as energy your body is always burning glycol gly glucose as energy but as soon as your body get used to burn your fat as energy you're not gonna feel hungry anymore why do i like to have this practice since i started fasting it really helped me to realize how much and snacks I was having during the day. Sometimes you were having a great lunch, a great breakfast. I'm only eating salad. <laughs> In between the meals, you have snacks, chocolate here, or ice cream there, or something like that. Your memory is very selective. So your memory will remind you that you ate salmon and asparagus for lunch, but will not remind you that you had all those candies. But wait, I have to tell you something. This is not about counting calories. So whenever you're on between your eight hour windows, eight hour window you have to eat this fasting will not work if you're like mm, i'm gonna have half chicken and half salad no no you have to eat but remember the first thing i said on the very first video no sugar no flour no fried food Eat avocado salmon chicken good fats the main difference between counting calories and the fasting is if you're only ingesting 1,000 calories per day. Do you really think your metabolism will keep up working on 2,000 calories every day? Of course no. Your body's not stupid. If you have 1,000 calories, it's gonna say, wait a minute. This guy wants to starve me to death. Slow down the metabolism because we only have 1,000 right now. That's how it works. On the other hand, when you're fasting, you don't eat for 16 hours, but whenever you can eat, you're gonna have all the calories but from good food and your body will actually start burning your fat because it needs the energy but you see you're not slowing down your metabolism because you're still eating and before i finish here let's go to a list of all the benefits first you will change main source of energy for your body and switch shift change you're gonna teach your body to always access your fat, therefore, you're gonna stop having the desire to eat sweets. Since your body made this shift, your mind is not gonna make you ingest sugar as energy. So you're gonna stop thinking, oh my God, the delicious ice cream, oh my God. You know, you're gonna increase your sensibility to insulin and to leptin. These two hormones are related to metabolic disease. Diabetes, obesity, and metabolic syndrome. Alzheimer's and Parkinson are related to high levels of sugar in your blood all the time. You're gonna decrease the amount of inflammation you have in your body and also decrease the amount of production of free radicals. You're gonna increase the good bacteria in your gut. You're gonna normalize your levels of ghrelin, the hormone related to your hunger. And the best of all, you're gonna increase your production of G. GH hormone. I don't know if that's the name in English, but it's the hormone for growth. Don't forget to check here on the inbox if you have any questions about this topic. You can always ask me. Just to remind you, I always leave the references here below. You can read the articles yourself. You can make your own research. If you have any questions, please leave it down here. I'll see you on the next video. Kisses, kisses, ciao!